Here we are in the graduate school kitchen where I am putting up a little motion sensor, very simple, to sense motion over the sink and start off with just an LCD sign helping people do their dishes. Let's uh, reset this puppy while I talk about it. So there's a little motion sensor in the bottom left there, it's about $9, a PIR sensor. It goes through a set of complete uh, setting. Then it says scanning sink area for motion. Now, this is just a, a rough draft because it's got some sticky areas for the code, but after it gets all warmed up, it should change to that message that is, thanks for doing all your dishes. It's about five seconds, and then it goes back, and it should just be able to work. Sometimes it's sticky, and I think that's because in the code we have it uh, being very careful. So we'll change that and then we're going to get the code to blink the uh, thanks for blinking. It'll blink to attract attention. And there we go. This is really a social psychology experiment too because the device itself will show how much we're interested in people doing their dishes even if it doesn't work as well and people want buzzers and people think it should do this and it should do that. The point is that even by having something here we'll start a discussion I think and one could argue that that is as important as the actual device. So it's a bit of a social psychology experiment too to have our dishes done. When we put this sign in, it was uh, actually quite effective. We had had smaller signs before. Uh, so this is all very, uh, very interesting in our teeny little kitchen here, getting these dishes done because we have a lot of renters and a lot of students, a lot of people who don't know what's going on, who don't know the protocols of our kitchen. So very interesting coding and social psychology. I'll post uh, final drafts soon.